everyone. Um, I just want to share with you um, our brand new Oracle deck, The Magic Cottage. This is our test deck, so it's like the only one at the moment. Um, the Magic Cottage is where Matlock the Hare lives and um, we've never actually been inside and looked at all the secrets and special places within so it feels quite a special deck really this one um and yeah let's have a look here's the lid love the peacocky sort of turquoise green color it's come out really well in the printing here we have the guidebook nice chunky guidebook Full colour, um, full colour illustrations. We always do full colour. Um, a little bit of a story at the front. Some that look. Um, yeah, that's come out really nicely. Lovely chunky little book. A nice finish on the cover as well. And let's have a look at the cards. Okay. So the cards have got the cottage on the back. Matlock's cottage there. I'd love to live there. <laughs> okay, so let's have a little run through of the cards. Here we have acceptance. Adventure. Matlock's cottage is always an adventure. It's not like any other. Authenticity. This is the back door of Matlock's house. Maybe where you see the real Matlock. Autumn. In the deck we do a card for each of the four seasons. This one's autumn. Balance. I'm making some soup on the stove. I think those are Matlock's socks there. Drying. Bliss, this card. Oh, cosy slippers <clears throat> in front of a cosy fire. Catalyst. Mm, Ursula's come to visit. That person who you know will be looking in all the corners of your cottage. Here we have chance. Change, sorry. Change. Now, Matlock, in Matlock's cottage, the sort of cottage changes things around itself. So it can, you can wake up one morning and it all looks a little different. The cornerstone. What are the cornerstones in your life? And fun. A little Ioni there, both falling out of the window in the snow. <clears throat> You. Growth. <clears throat> Journaling. These are all Matlock's journals by his bedside. Heart. Matlock's home is full of the spirits of all the creatures and trees and, you know, animals that have lived in the cottage over the years and they still sort of pid pad around at night and often in the day. But that's the heart of his home, is all that's gone before. Hearth. The fruit winds come in and out. <laughs> home. Home is that thing, it's that jumper with holes in, it's that chair that's worn to pieces, but it's where you feel most at home. That's Matlock's favourite chair. Individuality. There's been a lot of magical hairs in the cottage and a lot of sort of staffs showing how individual and different they all are, but they've all lived in the same cosy cottage. Instinct. Little frickle belly there. Journey. 
The moon journeys across the sky and it journeys, its light crosses through our windows in a journey each night or when you can, when the skies are clear and you can, you can see it. Magic, Matlock's potionry, always making magic there. Niffadoggles, sleep. Looks cozy patchwork quilt. Nurture. This is their airing cupboard in the cottage, and it's got as many animals as it has clothes and bedding and towels and all sorts of things. Perceive all the spoons in that box cottage, cottage kitchen. Perspective. We do all need to, not necessarily climb onto our roofs, but we all do need a bit of perspective sometimes. Prioritise. <clears throat> this is a Neffle Hammer and it's not quite what you think. Organise. This is Matlock's pantry in the winter, full of all sorts of things. And his owl that keeps, keeps order there and keeps the little creatures in their place making sure they don't pinch too many things. Reflect. This is a very special shroom that grows in the dale and Matlock comes across it. It's one he hasn't seen before. Respect. Matlock has got a bit of wallpaper falling off in his, uh, in his sitting room, but really that bothered about it. Ritual, making a brothel leaf brew, I think, here. That looks pot-bellied stove in his kitchen, very cosy. Uh, Matlock's toilet, <laughs> or water closet. This is his sanctuary, I'm sure it's a lot of people's sanctuary. Look, composting toilet, he's got his bucket of moss there. Oh, secrets. This is Ayani's secret tunnel. It's actually my favourite card in the deck. So. Sharing. This is Ghoul. We all know Ghoul if you know Matlock the Hare. He's come for some Niff soup with Matlock and to share some of his tall tales. Shelter. Can't really see it on the card at the moment, it's raining. Soak. Sometimes we need to soak in things. We need to let them sort of give them time to soak or soak ourselves in things, subjects or whatever it is that you're, you feel drawn to. Here's Matlock soaking in his lovely tub in the garden. Sound. Now this is another of my favourite cards because the story is really lovely in this 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 card, but I won't say any more. <laughs> source. This is the magical source of all the streams and rivers in the dale. In Matlock's basement. Spring. Here we go. We have a happy tree here. Spring has arrived at the magic cottage. Steps. Everything is, everything is usually achieved in steps. Matlock steps are sort of full of all sorts of obstacles that sometimes these things do get in our way. Summer. Oh, tree's a bit hot. A bit hot. This uh, this tree here in Matlock's garden. The time for just soaking it up. Not doing too much if we can. Time. Matlock's clock. Very unusual clock. Union. A window. It's the union between the inside and the out. I like this one. Looking out over the spring garden. Vulnerability. 
Mm, sometimes we have those crusty surfaces, outer shells, but we're often a lot more, a lot softer inside. Little Bickle's bright there. Well-being, well-being, knowing when we can do things and when we have to draw the curtains. Sometimes, you know, we can only do so much. Winter, the winter cottage. It's a nice time. Winter is a time for just stopping, resting, and not being too eager to rush, rush those times when we're given them. You know, maybe that's a good thing just to, to slow down a bit. And here is one that should have been near the beginning, but here we are. <laughs> it's Matlock's attic. That memories and oh, we've got a dark Twizzly who are not quite as Twizzly as they seem. A little Cavanaugh there. There we go. So these are the cards for the Magic Cottage Oracle, our brand new Oracle. I hope you like them. <laughs>